55 aspirants have formally thrown their hats in the ring to succeed President Uru Kenyatta in the August 9th State House contest. While nine are sponsored by political parties or coalitions, 46 of the presidential contenders are in the race as independent candidates. And as Francis Gashuri now tells us, if all the 54 State House aspirants are cleared by the IEBC, the August presidential ballot paper will be the longest in Kenya's electoral history and the death of any candidate or running mate will lead to the cancellation of the election and a new date set within 60 days. The Kenyatta succession race is 97 days away and the list of political players seeking to be the fifth occupant of State House is growing by the day. 55 aspirants are so far in contention for the country's top job, subject to clearance by the Independent Electron Boundaries Commission, IBC, in compliance with procedures in a presidential election. Nine of the 55 State House hopefuls are sponsored by political parties. They include Deputy President William Ruto, who will fly the U.S. DA and Kenya Kwanzaa flag, his main challenger in the race, ODM leader Raila Odinga, who was endorsed as the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance Coalition Party candidate, Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia of Usawa Kowote, Professor George Wajakoya on a Roots Party ticket, Third Way Alliance's Dr. Ekurwa Okot, who was also in the 2017 race, David Maure Wahiga of Agano Party, Jimmy Wanjigi will be vying on a Safina ticket, and Japheth Kaluyu of United Change Party UCP. But it is the rising number of independent aspirants eyeing the presidential seat that has triggered interest. At 46, the 2022 list of independent presidential aspirants is the highest in Kenya's electoral history. Among the notable independent presidential aspirants include gospel musician Ruben Kigame and Jeremiah Nixon Kukubo. Kariara Mudiora, who was Japheth Kaluyu's running mate in the 2017 presidential race, was cleared by the Register of Political Parties to vie as an independent candidate, subject to IBC's approval in the presidential nomination process. Another notable name is Nyaga Jeremiah Mwaneki, who was father the late cabinet minister Joe Nyaga, vied as an independent candidate in the 2017 polls and garnered 42,259 votes. Former PCA moderator David Gedhi is also in the presidential race as an independent candidate and among the few notable names in the list cleared by the Register of Political Parties, Greta Mudoni, whose attempt to seek the presidency on a Ford silly ticket backfired, has opted to vie as an independent Independent candidate. If the 46 independent aspirants will be cleared by IBC to run in the August polls, there will be 43 more than those in the 2017 State House race. Only Japheth Kaluyu, Michael Wainaina, and Joe Nyaga met the threshold five years ago, garnering between 13,000 and 42,000 votes. The constitution enacted in 2010 gives every Kenyan a right to seek any elective seat or vote for the candidate of their choice. However, if all the 55 aspirants will be cleared by IBC Chairman Wafula Chebukati in his capacity as presidential election returning officer, the presidential ballot paper will be the longest in Kenya's electoral history. The long list of presidential contenders, if cleared by IBC, will also be a security nightmare. Each of the candidates and their running mates must be accorded round-the-clock security with officers assigned to protect them, their offices and homes from the date of clearance by IBC to the conclusion of the August 9th general election. Should any of the presidential candidates or their running mates die, the August 9th general election will be called off and a new date set in line with provisions of Article 138, sub Article 8B of the Constitution. The new date, if such a postponement occurred, would be within 60 days after the previous set election date, meaning by 9th of October. The Constitution also requires the presidential candidates to be Kenyan citizens by birth, qualify for election as members of parliament, be nominated by a political party, or seek the country's top job as independent candidates and be nominated by at least 2,000 registered voters in at least 24 out of 47 counties. The 55 presidential hopefuls will present their nomination papers to Chebukati from Sunday 29th of this month to Monday the 6th of June. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.